Surprise! Hey. So we have done a little Poundland haul. Pound so yeah, we thought we'd test a few products from Poundland, just because people seem to like Poundland, and you can get quite a lot of things really cheap in there, can't you? So we just wanted to know if they were any good. One thing we got is this. Yeah, so we're going to test that in the car, and we'll insert the footage. Yeah, you can get right down to the right down to the very base of you. So if you had a condensated windshield, so I think it is really just for condensation, isn't it? Really? No, it's good for cleaning, but I think you probably should just use a bit of water. But it's ha really handy for in the car because it's so hard. Yeah, it seems to, to reach quite a few places. Yeah, obviously the front so windscreen is the main one because it's super good for cleaning and for wiping off the condensation. Yeah, but Ian's kind of got. I got one a while back from Aldi, but obviously with Aldi the things don't hang around for long. They just have things in. And it was cheaper but, than the Aldi one, wasn't it? Yeah. So this one. You can, you can feel it's a bit cheaper than Aldi, but. But, it's but for the price, I'd good say. for a pound. It's good for cleaning your windows. Yes, so, so yeah, that worked well. <laughs> for a pound, it's definitely worth it. There's no easier way of cleaning it for less. So thumbs up for the car, window, wiping, wiping thing. thing. What does it say it's called? Just says and I can see clear. clearly windshield wiper. So yeah, that was good. So the next product we have is a COB. COB robot line. What does COB mean? Just cob. Don't know. I think it's because it's in the shape of a cob. Yeah, I don't know why they call it a robot line. Maybe it moves? No, it doesn't. So, so this is a pound? No. It wasn't so, a pound. As many of you will be aware now that Poundland does not just sell things for a pound. This thing was two pounds. I wasn't aware of that. How you were. However, it did come with the battery, so... That's always a plot. So that was a, a big surprise. So this was two pounds. It's comes with one of those little sticky buds so that you can stick it to things. It also has a, a thing so if you wanted you could put a screw in somewhere if oh. you really wanted to keep it somewhere forever. But that is just a magnet that oh, attaches wow. it so you can angle it to whatever angle you want. You can stand it on the table, I don't know if you can see the table do you? I'm not sure if you can see the table, I'll just angle you down for a second. Exactly. So you can just stand on a flat surface, or you can attach it with your little sticky 3M self-adhesive thing. So let's see how it, that looks. It gets a bit where everyone... Oh. So there's, it takes three batteries, and that must have the magnet in. Pull out that little tab. Well, it's quite light. Yeah, considering. So altogether it's quite light, considering. Yeah. It's just got a little on off switch there. The. <laughs> and that gives a good amount of light. Oh wow, yeah. So I'll just use this as my. Oh, it's got a strobe if you want to do a bit of disco dancing. I'll just use that as my ring light. Could do you. Could do. How does it look, guys? Does that it look good? good light? Does it look good as a ring light? But yeah, that's. I think yeah. that's quite good. It's oh, really so good. So leave that on now for the video. Yeah, I'll just for a little bit. It is very bright. It is, but if it gives me the look I'm looking for, I'll keep it. And so, what's next? So next, let's see what else is in my bag of tricks. I'm not going to be able to try that, are we? Well, we can show them. So we got this omelette maker. I cannot tell a lie. You have I tried have it. I have used it. You just... It's pretty basic, it's just a plastic thing. You crack your eggs in it. You can add a, a little bit of oil or butter around it just to make sure but it's pretty good for not sticking, it's pretty easy to clean, it does a good job. Pretty decent 
eggs pretty quickly. So well, that was a pound. That was a pound. So that everything was a pound apart from the lights. Like I said, apart it from my new ring light. It did come with batteries. So. I did buy batteries because I did not realise it came with batteries. So this is a yeah. Just trying to remember. Is it Duke? Yeah. This is a Duke. Oh, Duke. Duke. <laughs> and they call it Jape. So if you like Duke. Duke this is a pound land dupe which costs a pound. A pound. And how so big think is it? A hundred millilitres for this dupe dupe. So say that ten times quickly. So whether they've just got real dupe and just watered it down and put it into different bottles, I don't know, but want to spray it on yourself, don't spray it down in the dark. But it looks good. Yeah, does, it? does that look good? It looks good in the camera. Can you see that? So it does smell. Aaron, I don't really know what Duke's meant Duke to smell like, like, but Aaron says it smells... It does, it smells just, to me, it smells just like it. So you think oh, Duke, I love it. for a bottle that size, would be a lot more than a pound, so mm. even if it doesn't last as long, you could buy several bottles, have one in the car... You could just keep spraying it all work. day long, yeah, yeah, for a pound. So that's got It smells so good, I love it. Big thumbs up from Aaron. And that was only a pound, so I'm so impressed with that. Some pound land... Some Charcoal. pound... Charcoal. Pore strips. So those are the ones so you moisten your face with a bit of water. What's that? Oh, they're the strips. Those are the strips. So we should so, put these on for the rest of the video or not? So we have moistened our noses. In readiness. Obviously charcoals are a very popular thing at the moment. So obviously Paramount wants a piece of that action. Now which way am I putting this on? So it's goes so the that that bit goes, on the, bit goes on the tip of your nose so it's just on a piece of plastic cellophane kind of stuff stick so just yeah it's well stuck on there but for a pound for six it's pretty good I've never put it on there a bit too far up my nose maybe a little bit but Trouble is, once they're on, they don't. Yeah, once they're on, they're on. Be... Oh god, yeah, it's gone really far up my nose. You're probably going to want to look in the mirror yeah, before you do. <laughs> ideally use the mirror to position it. It's meant to do all the things you expect it to do and clog your It's going to really unclog the pores underneath my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like it was really close. Is it really close to my eye? It's not a touch in the bottom of you. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll leave that on for Oops. the remainder of this. Segment. Video. Right, so the next thing we're going to try is is it's a complete shoe care kit. Shoe care kit. So we have an old pair of shoes, work shoes. You can probably see the pretty scuffed on the toes. Yeah. Wax on, wax on. You've got a little. So you get a little black polish with a sponge applicator. You get this easy shine. Just buff them up. You do get the brush, but I don't think that's probably more if you got like mud and that on your shoe. Then you've got a, a buffing cloth. So there's no actual instructions? No. You have to pay extra for instructions. Yeah. You have so to watch videos like this to get instructions. For a pound though, to get this little black polish, and even that, that's probably the things we'll be using the most. Do you want to do it actually? And this is made by the well known brand. Lustro. Lustro, I never heard of. No, I don't. So, do you want to do it or shall I? Well, no, you might as well do it because I don't know what we, so what we have to do. At least you're probably better at pretending you know what to do than I And to guess, we just squeeze this a bit. So hold this up. Oh. So they give me able to see. Oh, so it's like I've got to. You have to be like pushing it onto your shoe. You can see the black shoe polish is starting to come through. Unfortunately, our new ring light's very powerful and I, I can hardly see it. Oh, no, I can see that. So it is coming out nicely. So we'll just go over it. I suppose we'll go all over it. But as you can see, the black's definitely coming through now. We're not really ones for Cleaning our shoes regularly, are we? No, we would just buy new shoes. 
I wouldn't say that, but we don't yeah. tend to clean them probably as much as you should. As in by we don't clean them ever. Do you clean your shoes? So don't squeeze too hard, guys. Oh, oh it's dripping everywhere, Ian. I know. Oh, um, no, it's dripping everywhere. So don't squeeze too hard and don't wear nice jeans while you're doing it. Oh, no, is that going to ruin your jeans now? I don't know. I, I've got black socks, so it's fine. I think we can see that a lot of black stuff comes out. <laughs> Ian just got a bit too excited then. And now this is just turning into a cleaning fog. So there's a little bit of dirt on there as well, just go over that. <laughs> I'm liking this. Obviously I know you shouldn't squeeze too hard. I'm just glad it didn't go onto my trousers. Dry us to an instant shine. Directions, remove all surface dust and dirt, shake bottle. Press applicator against without squeezing bottles. Spread evenly. Rinse sponge after use. Allow footwear to dry before use. I'll just put them to one side now. You can see. And so apparently it does. You should read the instructions. It does tell you not yeah, to on squeeze them the individual. Yeah, just not on the whole packet. Yeah. And so it seems to have covered the scuff marks reasonably well. Just. Give it a little buff with the claw. So when do you have to wipe this on? I was going to say then we'll wipe that over. So it should be just impregnated into the sponge. Yeah, so let's give it a nice little shiny shine. Yeah. Do the uh, yeah, I was giving it a nice shine. And so. So for a pound. Yeah, and you get all these different bits. So if you got black shoes. Just remember like, not um, to squeeze the bottle when you're at, when you're applying it. Yeah, I think I think they get there today now about not squeezing the bottle. <laughs> then I think there's just one more. Yeah, the one that I'm excited about is the engraving pen. And that was just a pound as well. I think for that we will need our these are a pound as well. We'll have to check how many batteries it takes. I think it'll probably be two. It does come with a spur engraving tip as well. So for a pound, if this actually works, it's going to be pretty good. So, so we've, got our, we've got ourselves a cup, a glass. glass. Just push that. So it takes two double A's by the looks of it. See if we can... That's locked in place. Yeah. So you have to hold his little face. So you have to keep so, your finger down on it when you. Yeah. So, so you hold it that way. It's. Well, I don't know. Maybe that way. Just hold how it feels comfy, but. Hold it, so hold it like you're writing with a pen. Yeah. Are you pressing two buttons or one? No, there's just one just button. Just one button, button, right? It's ergonomically kind of designed to give you a grip. And I think we'll let Aaron try engraving something on the pen. Okay. So I'll just. Do you want to do just write your name? Or I'll just try just it this a. way and then I'll get Ian to, to hold the camera while I'm, while I'm writing it. So is it going to be spinning as you're doing it? Yeah, that's how it engraves. That's not, that's not too bad. Let's to show the guys. So that's my name. <laughs> so obviously I'm guessing it takes a bit of practice to try and not so I, I suppose probably if you're doing this while you're getting used to it maybe just do like one that's like a maybe on the other side you could just try and do a a, a nice a do you think yeah. there we can see it's got a, a, a beautiful a. eye do you want to have a go at it? I don't, I don't know if I want to spoil you. But it is, it is difficult no, to No, I wipe. can imagine it all jump, is it? Yeah. So what can I put on it? I don't know. Do I draw a heart or something? Put okay. hair on. So it's not the most symmetrical of hearts, but... Consider it's my first go. Yeah, it's it pretty wasn't cool. It wasn't too bad. You could probably shade it in as well. I think that's definitely worth it. You're best buying lots of cheap glasses to practice. 
But I think with practice, it'd be pretty good. Yeah. So on the whole, that's a thumbs up for a pound. It's hard not to when it does that kind of thing. We're definitely YouTubers now because our camera died. And that's all that we ever hear in other people's vlogs. Yeah. Whilst you were gone, I, I filled in my engraved heart a bit better. I think that... He filled the void in his heart. ...looks really <clears throat> professional now. I'm sure. I've added great value to that glass. Yes, we're going to make up a few and start selling them. It's going to be our merch, so yeah. get in there early That's quick. It. If you want the Aaron glass merch. Get your orders in now, folks. So the big reveal now time of our nose strips. I'm not going to actually, I don't think I'm going to show like no, in probably not. But... It's going to be pretty disgusting. But it's kind of peeling off already anyway because I don't think I wet my nose properly. And you can see how wonky I put it on my nose as well. It's just terrible. Ah. Okay, Yeah, because part most of it hasn't even stuck. Oh yeah, you can just see some little bits that it did stick. So yeah, obviously if you do it, make sure you wet your nose and probably don't do a YouTube video while you do it. Cause yeah, at least look in the mirror when you're putting it on. Yeah, maybe be near that mine's stuck a lot better. Oh, I'll always pull yours for you. Yeah, you really? This sounds nasty. Yeah, <laughs> Ah! Ow! Don't put that heart fast. Oh, it's just got loads of black in the corner there. Have yeah. I? Because you pulled it fast. So, yeah, you can see it's captured some. But to be fair, my paws on my nose aren't the worst. But yeah, if you do it, don't pull it off fast because it's just me. So that is the end of our pound. It was pound land, wasn't it? Yeah, pound land haul. Pound land haul. On the whole, I'd say everything we got was worth the pound. Yeah, <laughs> even my new ring light was worth the two pound, to be fair. Yeah. And so, what was your favourite thing from pound then? Um, it's either going to be the engraver or the dupe dupe. The dupe dupe, yeah, because if you're cheap AF, like I am, this will be so good for you. It's, like, it's, it's just as good as the real stuff, you just have to spray more on, I think, because it doesn't last as long. Actually, I can still smell it. Yeah. And it's been over an hour, so. And so, my favourite is either the engraver because it's amazing you got that for a pound or the or oh, my light because it is a really good light and I like how you can position it so well well then the shoes have turned out pretty well really yeah they turn out well but they're still just shoes it's still just shoe polish yeah this is an engraver I think overall I mean just think the things you can engrave for that I mean Ian did while we were on a break he did <laughs> engrave that don't know if it's picking up by uh, put an A on for Aaron so he, he knew that was his. So there's probably other stuff, other stuff you can engrave. Let's see if you can engrave if, this if, copy If thing. you want to give people a present to make sure they don't just sell it on, put the <laughs> engrave the name on it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But then they could just sell it on to someone that's got that name. Yeah. But, but anyway, yeah. So, so yeah, we, we're, we're, yeah, we're just going on a bit now. Yeah, so anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching us do the pound land haul let us know because i do enjoy doing it but obviously don't know we'd how. rather do something that involves eating really but we thought we'd give it a go anyway if you have any suggestions if you think us eating only things from powerland for the day would be a good video let us know let us know just leave us comments for whatever you think you enjoy watching or whatever you yeah. thought of the video or whatever your highlights and your low lights yeah, and we will speak to you in one of our next videos. Bye. So, bye. bye. bye.